What's up, Padawans? What's up, What's up, Padawans? Afro Jordan Wiki Tell Like a T. I'm Mood of Hooganese. Now, today we're going to talk about Olivia Munn. I know y'all heard, probably heard the story about her speaking out about a pedophile working on the movie she was doing called Predator. And the director, Shane Black, has a friend that's a pedophile. And when Olivia Munn spoke out about it, some of the actors and actresses in Hollywood started giving her hell because she spoke out against him about the actor being a pedophile. Now, I'm going to tell you all this. I give her props for speaking out about this. And I don't think people should ridicule her for speaking out about a pedophile working in this movie. And you see how much hell Corey Feldman got when he spoke out about pedophiles being in movies, being in a movie. Being, well, pedophiles being in Hollywood. Nobody supported him. They ridiculed him. They treated him like dirt. And they're doing exactly the same thing to Olivia Munn as they did to Corey Feldman. I'm going to put the link in the description below about when I spoke out about Corey Feldman. And it's like I said before, she spoke out of because she found out one of the actors in the movie is a pedophile. And it shouldn't be where she's catching hell because of it. I don't think it's right for people to like, well, she talking bad about this person because I know he messed up in the back because he raped little children. Now you got to think about it, man. How, like, If you know he's a pedophile, okay, I got a good example. I got a good example. Now everybody, uh, what's his name? Uh, he was in the Beetlejuice movie. He played the dad in Beetlejuice. Uh, what's his name? Jeffrey Jones. Yes, Jeffrey Jones. He was caught with child pornography. Jeffrey Jones. You might have seen him in Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp, Beetlejuice. Uh, Ferris, he's well known for being in Ferris Bueller's Day Off as the, as, as the principal. Or Howard the Duck as the doctor. Or Ed Wood. Or The Devil's Advocate. Or The Hunt for Red October. Or Stuart Little. Or Heartbreakers. Or How High. Or Stay Tuned. Or Pat, The Past with John Linguizamo. Or Who's Harry Crime, Dr. Doolittle 2. Easy Money with uh, Joe Pesci and Ronnie Dangerfield, House Guest, uh, Trench of Aya 650, Out on a Limb, or uh, Frank and Weenie. I'm naming off movies that Jeffrey Jones has been in. But Jeffrey Jones has been caught with child pornography. And you ain't seen him in a movie, TV show whatsoever whatsoever because he had that but when it came down to Olivia Munn speaking out against this other actor that's a pedophile people ridicule her and I it is not right for her to get ridiculed because she spoke her mind and her peace and it's unfair for people to put her down because she said because she said the guy was a pedophile I said I and I thought everybody had a right for their opinions. But to put her down for saying, hey, this guy's a pedophile and I feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm going to have to support her on this. I'm not disagreeing with her. I'm not hating on her. I'm not sitting there treating her like a dog or dragging her name through the mud. Because I like Olivia Munn. I started, what, I started watching her when she was on the show, Attack of the Show, with Kevin Pereira on G4. And she couldn't say Matt, Matt, MC Hammer, she called him Matt Hammer. But, or how she jumped in that pie. And she got a lot of, but it's like this though. To dog her out because she spoke her mind about a pedophile being on, being in the movie. I think it's just unfair and just wrong for that to, that I just think it's unfair. That she gets treated like dirt because she spoke her mind about this pedophile. I don't really do. I think it's unfair how she's getting mistreated 
by her peers and it shouldn't be where she gets treated like dirt because she's not kissing ass I'm sorry that she didn't step out the limelight and say Harvey Weinstein raped her just to get notification but she did what she had to do was tell people hey I can't work with this pedophile hey this guy's a pedophile I cannot sit there and just hate on her because she spoke her mind I don't like pedophiles and and for me to sit there and watch this girl go through this hell because she's telling people hey this guy's a pedophile and I, he knows he's the, the actor the director Shane Black knows that his friend went to prison for that or went to jail for that and did his punishment but hey still he still is a registered sex offender and you're letting him back in the movies it's like how do you know this, this Shane Black to me I got a question how do I know that Shane Black is going to put this guy in a movie with kids how do I know that this Shane Black is going <laughs> to do a movie with kids in it and he puts this guy in it and he goes out and does something to one of them kids how do I know cause just because he's your friend and you're trying to talk some bone but hey but you gotta look at it like this man when it comes to stuff like this you need to be careful who you put in your movies it's like it's to me it's like if I was in Shane Black's shoes, it's like, no, I can help you, but I'm not going to put you in one of these movies. I said, for one, you are a registered sex offender. Two, I don't want to get looked at as like, oh, he raped kids, but you're my friend, though. I'm going to get you work, but it's not going to be around here. We still cool, though, but I'm going to get you work. I'm going to get you work. I'm going to get you somewhere where you can work, not be around kids, not getting yourself in trouble, not getting to... Uh, bashed but he didn't think that he thought I'm gonna put you in the movie whatever who gives a damn that you rape kids or whatever or has an obsession with kids <laughs> but he didn't do that he just put him in the movie and was like <laughs> but I just see it like this this should have been thought through Olivia Munn shouldn't catch this hell because of her speaking out about this and I think she should be credited for it and looked at somebody speaking out like she needs to get with Corey Feldman about this mainly but I see, still see that nobody should put her down for speaking out against a pedophile in Hollywood in the movie she's in and her speaking out and I feel very bad that this girl has to go through this because she spoke out about a pedophile in in a movie she's doing. Like yeah, y'all can say, well, she can always go the Me Too movement. What the Me Too movement gonna do? She just said something about pedophile. She ain't say nothing about being raped, but <laughs> but I think that she should be praised for speaking out about it. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow me on my uh, my uh, my fan page, which is in the description box below. Uh, like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and everybody. Tweet it, tumble it, post it up on your Facebook. Or watch it on your cell phone. Watch it on your tablet. Watch it on your game console. But tell me what you think about this should Olivia Munn be a praise for speaking out about a pedophile being in this movie or should she be hated on because she spoke out you tell me what you think like I always say if you ain't down with the wood you